This will be a short video covering how to install ArcDPS and build templates for Guild Wars 2 on a Windows system, as well as how to use both. The only requirement for this process is about 5 minutes of time, Guild Wars 2, and an internet connection. First, navigate to deltaconnected.com slash arcdps. Without slash arcdps at the end, you'll reach a linkless page. You can find the hyperlink to the site in the description below. This page contains relevant information about ArcDPS like hotkeys, configuration information, and revision history. If the game ever receives an update, check the top of the list to see when the most recent ArcDPS update was, and you'll likely need to update it. At the bottom of the page is a directory link labeled x64 current. Click that to be taken to the files themselves. For a basic ArcDPS installation, you only need to click the file called d3d9.dll. However, I highly recommend build templates, and I'll explain why later. To download build templates as well, simply click its link and click d3d9 underscore arcdps underscore build templates dot dll as well. There is also an extras file which includes tools to hide current quests from the upper right corner, as well as check the most recent arcdps version and let you know if you're out of date. I like this file, it's not required, however I do also recommend it. Now that you've clicked each file to download it, open a file explorer and navigate to both your downloads directory as well as the current Guild Wars 2 install directory. By default, this will be in your program files. However, if you selected a different path on installation, you'll need to go there. Within the Guild Wars 2 folder, open bin64, and then all you need to do is drop the DLL files we downloaded in there. If you're updating ArcDPS, simply overwrite the old DLL files with the new ones from Delta Connected. Do not tamper with any previously present DLL files. Congratulations, it's installed. Now how do we use it? If this is the first time you've had ArcDPS installed, you should see a settings menu when you first log in. Load into any character, and then under the ArcDPS settings menu, click Windows to expand your window options. This menu allows you to choose which windows appear on screen. I highly recommend area stats and health bar for most use cases. However, you can enable or disable different windows at any time. Next, if you're interested in saving logs of combat, click General and make sure Lock Target to Encounter NPC is on. Then open Logging. The options in this menu are a matter of personal preference and simply dictate how logs are saved. If you want to separate logs based on your current character or your current guild, you may do so. However, I do recommend using NPC name in the save path so that you don't have one folder full of every boss in the game. ArcDPS is now configured, and you can close the options menu by either clicking the X in the upper right corner or by pressing Alt Shift T. Now to build templates and why I recommend it wholeheartedly. Contrary to what the name implies, build templates isn't about community or game-based meta builds. Rather, it's a sort of loadout system. It allows you to save your current traits, skills, and gear, legendary stats, and even sigils and runes under a single loadout name, and load it at any time with the click of a button. You no longer need to rebuild a spec, one trait, or piece of gear at a time between encounters, just use build templates for the heavy lifting. To open build templates, press Alt-Shift-D. As you can see, I've already got some templates created. To create a new one, simply set your character up however you'd like, enter a name for the template here, and click Save. To load a template, simply select which parts you want to use from the table above and click Load. Depending on where you are in the world, this process can be very quick or a little slower. For instance, Lion's Arch has no limitation, but raids and the open world have a hard-coded 500 millisecond delay between actions for fairness. This was required by the creator of Build Templates by ArenaNet. If you ever need to update or change a template, simply select it as if you were going to load it, but this time click Overwrite. The old template will be overwritten with whatever your current character has. You will need to update templates if you transmute a piece of gear to look like something else, or change runes or sigils. And that's just about it. You can now track your DPS and boons, or the DPS and boons of anyone in your squad, save encounter logs for fights, and switch class loadouts in a flash. If you're ever crashing mysteriously after an update, your first line of defense should be to check for an Arc DPS update. If one isn't available, simply remove the DLL files we added to the bin64 folder earlier and wait for an update. Your build templates will not be affected as they're stored elsewhere. Make sure that you only remove the DLL files we added, however, as other DLLs are present in that folder and are required for Guild Wars to function.